Welcome to the learning portal of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Welcome to the learning portal of Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College. Hello students. Welcome to the new session of HTML. In today's class, will implement all those tags which we have learned in the previous session so we'll actually do the practical part of html today so let's begin but before starting let me make clear that if a question on pack comes in a board exam then what is the expectation for that first of all each tag is, has only one marks weightage in board so if they give you write a note on B tag or explain the following tag and B is one of the tag that B tag is only for one marks. So what are the points which you have to cover? For example B tag, so B gives a bold effect, B has a closing uh, tag so it is anything enclosed between B and closing B is, is the way it appears. If there is any attribute with the tag mention at least two attributes and then give a small example. So let's begin with the practical today. So let's start with the practical. For doing the practical of HTML, we'll use the editor which is there in Windows that is Notepad. Now before we start with the coding of HTML, remember tags are not case sensitive so you can type it, it type it either in capital case or in lower case any of which you want to do only thing is the document which you are creating has to go as it is so first structural tag is html html consists of head head internally consists of title let give let us give the first title as first page for this document this title will appear in the title bar once title is done I will close the head tag so head section is done now we'll move to actual document which consists of your body tag body tag defines the document so body and finally HTML tag will get close now this is the actual structure of your HTML this question comes for one marks in your board exam that define the structure if you define it in this way you will get one marks now let's frame a small sentence on this that what is the body so what document you want to put I'll put a simple words of our college name that is now, as I told you you have to be careful while typing the internal material or internal text for the document I am writing everything in the bold capital case so everything will appear in capital case if I change it into the lower case the things will change so Thakur Vidya Mandir High School and Junior College so here I have a simple document created for HTML I will go to file save as save as process is same go to that go to desktop uh, I have already created a doc folder as HTML wherein I will save all the practical files now over here I will give the name of the file as first page dot remember extension will be dot HTML if you don't put dot HTML as an extension then it will save it as text file and what is the difference between saving it as a text file say I have saved it as text file I'll also save it as normal text file without giving HTML as an extension it got saved minimize this particular file and go to the folder open the folder see you can see both the files present here if you see HTML file it appears like an uh, browser logo uh, by default I think Internet Explorer is the browser so Internet Explorer if you have Google Chrome or if you have Mozilla Firefox as a default browser on your computer so that icon will appear 
there is notepad file will be simple file if i open a notepad file it will open my actual file which i have coded whereas if i go and open the browser file so it will open it in the browser in this way okay let's make some changes you don't have to close this particular part i'll keep it open and i will just navigate to notepad and my internet explorer document so now i'll again open the notepad file in the structural part if you have learned we have there was only one tag which was having attribute that is body tag in that the first attribute was bg color say bg color it has some value so if i define this bg color say as uh, blue and i'll save this file after saving the file i'll just go to internet explorer and refresh it oh, sorry i it's a text file that's why it's not getting reflected so while saving be little careful that you are saving it as dot html i'm replacing the file and now once i do it it will be as html only once you have done it now you go to the browser file and just refresh it you will get the color the background color as blue and you can see now moving on to the next bg color we have said the bg color remember bg color spelling that is c o l o r not u r okay the next one is now text blue if i have a black background white black background with black text will not work so i can reset the text color which is there at the foreground by giving the another attribute text i have saved the file i'll go to internet explorer again refresh that page you can see the changes the top of the mandir is in white color and we have a background as black now what if if i want the background as an image so what i'll do is in place of bg color i will define an another attribute which is background equal to now here as a value i will set the name of the image now the best thing for setting the name of the image is that you go to the particular folder say i go to picture folder where i have sorry uh, i'll go to desktop the uh, say i have one of the created images over here which is i think a png image i'll right click on this go to the properties as this image is located in some other folder i'll copy the entire location once it gets copied you will come to the notepad paste it over here after pasting here you will again put a forward slash and you will check out what is the name of the file the file name is untitled and the extension is png so i'll just copy that entire thing as png again i will save this i will refresh as you can see you got the background as the image now again the text is not seen so if you want you can change the text color back to black or say i'll keep it as blue and you can see the changes so that's it with your structural tag always remember if you are keeping background as an image keep it little subtle so that the text which is there on the foreground looks clear so this was the first practical part that how to set the structure structural tags of html we'll move on to the next part the next one is the different physical tags which are there now if i see the physical tags 
the first tag which will be work on is bold italic and underline uh, let me change the background because the text is not seen so we just want to see the effect of text so i'll again put bg color as say and keep it as a simple orange color or aqua color so and here i'll change it to black again and again go to the desktop whatever text I have put I'll make it as bold first always remember we have learned that most of your tags are what are container tag so B tag is accompanied by slash B because there is a letter inside B tag where the bold effect will be applied I'll save this we'll go to the desktop to our file and open the file see the text has appeared bold compared to the initial text same way I'll put I tag which gives you italic effect now again you have to just see that till where you want the effect to be so I'll put italic so again save the file go to the browser and check out the effect of italic tag next is underline i'll make the text underline so again you can close it because i want the entire school name to be underlined again save it and you can go and you can see the underline part now we want this text if this text has to be the heading part so what i'll do i'll add i will remove underline and i'll give the highest heading because heading tags have bold effect in it with other part again it is a container tag so we will close it and I'll give it as a center alignment so heading your align equal to center always remember the spelling of center it is T-E-R not T-R-E so I have given align as center again we will go we will check and we will see the effect see the text has appeared appeared little big now if I just copy paste it and if I see show you all six headings so I'll just change the end value that is to 2 the second level heading third level heading fourth level heading level heading you see the difference so I'm keeping it center only so that you can compare it and the lowest level heading that is sixth the text will appear bold but the size will be different again I'm saving it you can refresh and you can see the highest level heading size and the lowest level heading size so this is how the heading tag appears moving on to the next tag we have learned heading we have learned most of the other tag i'll just delete the other we have we'll keep the heading h1 as it is now what is sup and sub tag sup stands for superscript sub stands for subscript 
mean sup tag i told you sup tags gives you superscript part so for example if i want to write x square plus y square equal to 1 so i'll write x superscript tag because 2 will go, go as a superscript part then i will close sup s square then again plus y again i will open sup because again square will go up so 2 sup tag close y square equal to 1 this is your superscript tag save it and check what is the output x square see 2 has appeared little up and just change the size output is clear to you s square plus y square equal to 1 uh, now if you have seen that since I have moved h1 down so it went into the same line to remove that we have learned one more tag that is your br tag br tag is break line tag so if I put br after that particular statement the data will go behind alignment you can change since this alignment is h1 i can put h1 again so that there is a different alignment by default alignment will be left so x square plus y same way subscript the letter the text will go little below i will go with some chemical formula like h2o We'll keep it simple. So H S U B two S U B and then O. Again save it and you can see the difference. Again you can move this to the next line. If you want a single line break, so you can keep BR ones. But if you have double line, so you have to keep it two times. So you will get a gap in between two output. So this is the output for H2O. We will move ahead. The next tag is P tag. Uh, now once we have written about TVM will write a short paragraph on TVM. So TVM is affiliated to Maharashtra. sections including the four section that is Since this is the paragraph, the paragraph tag will get close once this is done. By default, if you see the paragraph, we'll save this file. The paragraph is always aligned to left hand side, so it will start from left. You can change the alignment of the paragraph by again putting an attribute inside. By default, it was left, so I'll just show you the effect of right. So right 
right right so the text has gone right once that is done we will see center effect also again center will be center part refresh center the text will be aligned to center once that is done Let's check the last one that is justify justify is not supported by internet explorer so it will not appear here okay so justify so this is your paragraph then how it works you can create as many paragraph but as and when you want to start it with the paragraph you have to start with the p tag the next tag is pre tag now what is pre tag pre tag as i told it's a pre formatting tag when i write say for example i write the address for tvm if i write the address for pvm in a paragraph so how it will appear say if i write that it's sarap chaudhary or hcn in the next line so yes. and we will east Mumbai one not one so once I finish this and then close the paragraph now this is my second paragraph I want the text to appear the way I have typed but if, if you see the paragraph working it will give you the text in one line if i want so if i want the pre formatting the formatting as the way i have done in place of writing p tag i'll write it as pre so the formatting will appear the way i want at cn complex can be released in by 101 so either you give break br every time or you just go with the pre formatting part so this that's it with the pre tag we have also learned about em tag what is em tag now em tag was equivalent to your italic so say for example i write it as computer science with the italic effect as you can see the italic effect only thing is when it comes to text to speech browsers so it, I, it, internet explorer is not text to speech similarly strong tag act as bold tag so whatever i write in strong it will come as bold character that's it with em and U. now what is the difference between normal text and if i write anything in big tag so i have written computer in a normal way that i have closed signs in big tag i will save the file let's see the difference With text, I'll remove strong tag. Let me see the difference. It may be that some of the tags does not support the browser, so because we are working still with the old one, big and small will not work. But the actual difference will be that computer will be in the original size and signs will appear a little bit. If you can see, I think the image it has appeared. You can see the difference. This is little small, whereas this is little big. Same way, if I want the text to appear 
more so computer is original size and science science has gone one text below so this is it that's it with okay the next is strike tag so what we'll do we'll write computer science and we'll make a striking effect on it so strike we are mostly done with all container tag again save the file go to the browser refresh it see you can see a striking line on the word computer science the last tag which is left from your section is mark you and hr what is mark you and what is hr first we'll do hr we have actually three section one is thakur vidyamandir the heading then we have written a small paragraph on thakur vidyamandir we are given the address and then we have written a computer science is one of the subject now i'll put a horizontal rule in between each section so hr I finish H1. I'll put one H R here so that I differentiate this. Again, after a paragraph, I'll put H R, and after address, I'll put H R. I'll save. Again, it is not a container tag; it's an empty tag. Now, as you can see, you can see a black line appearing on the screen between each section. So it is just for a decorative purpose, as I have told. You can change the size of an HR. So if I find out size equal to say twenty percent, so what will come? See the width has increased to twenty percent. It will take twenty pixel, twenty percent of the pixel. Same way, if I say width, it will actually see the length. It's little different. So length as sixty percent. So the size, yeah, the size has decreased. Always when you will change the width, so whatever is the size of the HR, it will go on shrinking, and it will always start from the mid section of the pixel. We have another. Attribute as color, so I can change the color. So I have put red, so it can appear red in color. That's it with HR tag. We'll move to mark you. What we'll do is we'll make a heading scroll. So mark you tag. Closed. So mark you has gives you a scrolling effect. So see, as I told you, it will start from left hand side, and it will go towards right. So it will start from right hand side. It will go towards left. Once the entire part is done, again it will start from. Right hand side and go towards left. You, if you want, you can change the direction. what it is going towards left so i'll change it to right so that action has changed same way i keep it as left only i can change the behavior of your slide By writing behavior equal to by default it was scroll. 
I'll just slide it and I'll see, make you see the difference. It will come towards the other point. stop that is the slide effect the other effect is alternate so for alternate what will happen is one time it will start from right hand side go towards left then it will bounce back from left towards right You can change the width for the mark you you can put a bg color a separate bg color for mark you say i give it as blue put a little dark background and aqua color so bg color for only that section you can increase the width of the mark you Eighty. Increase or decrease accordingly. It will come into that particular section. That's it. If the mark is done, we change it again back to the original part. So that's it with the physical tag, mark you tag, and heading tag, which we have learned today. In the next class, we'll focus some on some of the other other tags, which will help you to create a better HTML page or better web page. So before signing off, uh, let me tell you that this section can come as a practical question for you, even in the fifth five five mark section of your board uh, board theory exam. This section can appear. So, thank you for the day. Love and peace.